Good afternoon. Welcome to Long Live Third Parties Podcast. Free Press Media Press Inc., a third party's books publisher, sponsors this podcast. I'm Andrew Bouchard. Today I read the case I Do Sulky versus Kiffmeyer, 721 and W2D 283, Minnesota Supreme Court, 2006. Friends, today we're going to talk about a third party of which the case does not name. Friends, this is in Minnesota, where I used to live. And in fact, I lived in Minnesota during the time of this trial, 2006. I lived in Minnesota from 2004 to 2012. Have any of you ever lived in Minnesota? If you haven't lived in Minnesota, have you ever visited Minnesota? I will say Minnesota is a great state. Very cold. If it wasn't cold, it would be a very excellent place to live and I'd want to live there. So friends, let's talk about this case. What happened here? It says, quote, by a letter dated July 21st, 2006, the Office of Secretary of State Mary Kiffmeyer notified a petitioner, Peter I. Idesogi, that his nominated petition for the Office of the United States Senator from Minnesota lacked the number of signatures required by law. After receiving this letter, Idesogi filed a petition with our court under Minnesota Statute 204B.44-2004 requesting an order directing the Secretary of State to place his name on the ballot for September 12, 2006 primary election, the November 7, 2006 general election. Idasogi alleges in his petition that the Secretary of State wrongly rejected his nominating petition and wrongly prevented him from filing additional signatures in support of his candidacy. End quote. This individual here, Mr. Idasogi, deserves our praise for his assertiveness. He didn't just lie down after they struck down his petitions. He said, no, I'm going to fight this. So we love that. That's what we support on this podcast. When I have taken assertion in my life to advance causes, I was glad. And I imagine you felt the same way when you took assertiveness to advance causes. So we love this tradition. It goes on to say, the following says, quote, candidates for elective office in Minnesota must file with the Secretary of State an affidavit of candidacy under Minnesota Statute 204B.03 and 204B.06, 2004, in addition, Candidates seeking the nomination of a minor political party and candidates running independent of, of any political party must file a nominating petition, end quote. They put minor in quotes. And I read this trial, going through it, reviewing it, I don't see anywhere it mentions the name of the minor party of which he represents. I remember every other trial we discussed, they named the party. So I wonder why they didn't name it. And I wonder what it is. Anyone out there who can enlighten me? Maybe you voted in the 2006 election. Maybe you participated in the campaign. Or maybe you have some knowledge. I'd love to hear what party this individual, Mr. Peter Idosagi, represents. It says here, now I'm looking at the top of the cases, he's pro se. We love that here too. I defended myself in court pro se. About that time, I did my case, it was in 2003. Fortunately, I won, so that rocked. Win or lose, representing yourself in court pro se is awesome. In this case, they discussed how he was supposed to get 2,000 signatures and they had a filing period of 14 days. I don't remember any other case having that narrow of a filing period. So that's a very short range. So what do you think about that? Do you think that range is the right range? Or do you think it's too short? What do you think? 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 
Also, what do you think the filing period should be? If we must have ballot access petitions like these, how long should one have? Should it vary on office by office? Should senator be different than president? So ultimately, they said he only submitted about a thousand ballot petitions and he didn't do it in time. Our friend here invokes the first and 14th amendment again and again, we're seeing that issue. In the vast majority of these trials, our friends invoke those amendments. We love the first amendment here. And we also love the 14th amendment. Free Press Me and Press Inc. has a mission of advancing the first amendment. So we love that and we love the 14th amendment. Unfortunately, the court did not give our friend any leeway. They said it must stand what happened then. So ultimately they said the following quote, petition denied, end quote. Alas, our friend did not win, but he tried. He asserted himself in a pro se case. I don't remember other pro se cases. So whether you have a lawyer or whether you don't have a lawyer, it rocks to fight for ballot access. Good job. Long live third parties. Goodbye.